Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. I'm back here again on Enigmatica 2 with Jude. He's somewhere behind me. I think he's trying to hide or something. We're back here on Enigmatica 2 Expert, and we are having a lot of fun with this pack. Do that over there. It looks like it's nighttime. I better go sleep while I do my intro. So last time we did this, I was doing the forestry mod, and I got pretty much everything done except for one quest. And let's look at that quest right now. I did everything except for the bee thing because we couldn't find the tropical bees. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for those bees. And uh, maybe later we can do some stuff. I believe there's some things that we can do with genetics and stuff to make the bees. We'll get into that um, at a later point, okay? So uh, what I think I'm going to do now, looking at these gates here, you can see that uh, Jude has gone down into mechanism. I think he's going to be doing this right here. And my job was to start this line right here, industrial craft, because we want to get through industrial four going and into applied energistics because there we get some of the uh, storage system and automation. And we really want to do that. So we're going to work on right now, this industrial craft. We're going to open this thing up. And to do this, we need a basic machine casing. Okay. And you can see here, it just takes four aluminum plates and it looks like large iron plates. Okay. So... Let's go do that right now. Let's go get some four plates. Now, we don't have a way to make plates except for um, using this plate machine right here. So, we got to get some iron. So let's go get some iron over here in our little storage facility. Let's see. There's a silver. Where's the iron? There's um, there's aluminum. We need that, right? Let's get that. So, put that in there. It's getting kind of noisy. Do we have a guest up here or something? Whoa. Uh... Hey, Jude, we have guests. <laughs> At the mine shaft. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Okay, so uh, the aluminum should be in here now. Four ingots worth. We're going to make four plates. Now, Jude did make the time in a bottle here. And when you hover over this, you can see it's storing time in it. And this can speed things up as far as pours or machines and that sort of thing. So I'm going to hold on to this and see how far we get uh, through this episode and see what uh, kind of time we have, okay? So we're still working on making this right now. Uh, we're going to make four of these. These are the aluminum plates right there, Okay. And then we've got to make large iron plates. And the only way to do that is with the large plate cast. So we're going to have to make that. Let me get the parts for that. Okay, well, first we need to make a pattern. The large plate cast right there. We have the pattern. That's easy to do. We go over here. We can take that one off. Put this one on here. I'm going to put some material. And we're going to make the large stone plate. Now this, we're going to put there. Okay. And so, it doesn't go there. It goes up in there. We're going to then use the um, aluminum brass... To make a plate. Okay. There we go. And this makes the actual plate formed. And now we can do the iron one. Now I'm going to put four iron in here. Hopefully that's enough. If it's not, we will see. And we're going to try to use this time on a bottle here. And you can see it's going a lot faster to get the iron. That's pretty darn cool. Okay. Here we go. We got four ingots. I'm not sure how many ingots it takes per plate. It may even take two. It may even take four. I don't know. Uh, it looks like it took... A lot more than that, like half. So it takes eight per plate. So it's going to take a lot of iron. Uh, um, yeah, I got some iron on me. Let's see. Let's do four more here really quick to make sure that this is what we need is eight. You can still see that time in a bottle effect is still working, which is awesome. Now, I'm going to put this in here. Come on. Now it slowed down, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, we'll hit it again. I just want to go faster. Okay. Grab the iron. Pour it in. And it should be completely done. And if it is, then I know I need to get uh, 24 more. It looks like it is. And that's it. So we need 24 more iron here. Put all that in there. It looks like it goes down a little bit, doesn't it? There it does. Okay. And there we go. And this is cooling. So in just a bit, we'll be all done. Okay. We need the basic machine casing. So we're going to do that here. Basic machine casing. Looks like this. And there we go. And we get four of those. And that should unlock that section okay and there we go now some people have said uh, why do you always get your quests right away and open loot boxes and that's because i want to make sure if, if we have anything we can uh use it you know what i mean right away instead of waiting and then saying oh wait we could have used that way back when anyway we opened that up that means we have 
industrial craft and we are starting out up here and it says this is a tier one tech mod it offers a lot of uh such as ore doubling power generation item duplication and stuff like that and if you cannot be bothered with making ic2 generators you can convert rf into eu with mechanism okay that's good there we go we're gonna get our loot chest like i said and i'm gonna open it right away okay and there we are we got a rare we got an experience pylon very nice next thing i want to work on here is this rubber and it says we need to get rubber, tree tap, and sticky resin. And apparently I have somehow or somewhere have already gotten rubber. I don't recall doing that. But we have to usually would be to go get a tree tap, go get the rubber, and the sticky resin. So uh, let me look around, see if I can find the rubber in one of these drawers. Maybe we have it. Well, I found this rubber tree, but I don't know if it really has the rubber that it uses with this uh, tap. Because I don't see it on any side. So I'm going to harvest this and plant this tree uh, with the saplings back at our base. Um, so hopefully I'll get some saplings here. I guess that's a few things there. I'll look around and see if I find any more of these and see if I can harvest them. But at least I have some. We'll plant that back at base and we'll get some rubber. I have two rubber trees. I'm going to plant one right there. And I'm going to plant one right here. And we're going to get some bone meal. And we're going to bone meal that up and see if we can get some of this rubber. Thankfully, this one already grew before I bone meal. But I'm going to bone meal that anyway. And there we go. And this should give us what we need. There it is. Sticky resin. And we got the rubber quest. Yay. Finally. Claim. Get that back. And we're going to open up our loot uh, chest here. And we got a superium water can. That's great. The watering can is great for uh, working on farms. Making farms grow. That's a very good item. Okay. Next up here, we're going to make this generator. A generator takes a furnace, which we can build pretty easy, and we probably even have some basic machine casing, which we have, and this battery. So we have redstone. That's easy. Ten item casing. It takes a ten plates with a hammer, and it makes two. Okay. So let's go over here. I'm gonna grab that hammer. That's one of the hammers we can use. And I put some tin in here, so we just gotta pour it out. Here we go. Make a tin plate. This should be pretty easy. There's one. And there's two. Come on, there we go. And put it over here. And this should give us four of those pieces. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Got to get the redstone. Which is redstone in here. Uh, not a lot, though. Did he move it? Yes, there it is. Okay. And for the other part for the battery is an insulated tin cable, which is tin, cable, and rubber. And we have the rubber on us right now, I think. Yes, so we need to make this cable, right? So how do you make a tin cable? It's just another plate with cutters. Okay, so if we get another plate, we need to get another piece of tin and cook that up. Put the tin in here. And it actually goes pretty fast without the time in a bottle, which is nice. It actually melts fast and it cools fast. So let's grab that ingot right there. Make this. We're going to do this all pretty quick and we'll have a basic generator. Okay, so we got to have a tool of cutters. Will those cutters work? I don't know. Let's see. Does that work as cutters? No. Let's put that back. Okay. Do we have any other cutters here? I don't see any other cutters. I don't see any cutters at all. Okay. So I guess we got to make some cutters. How do you make cutters? Hmm. So it's going to take three iron plates and two iron ingots. Now, I thought we had iron plates someplace already. So... Let's go look over here. I think there might be in a chest over here. No. Yes. So we go over to here and we'll say we want cutters. And there it is. And we'll work out the cutters on the plate. And then we get that. And then we'll make the cable. And then with that, we have our battery. We have our machine casing. So what we need now is a furnace. And I'm not sure where... Our furnaces are. I'll have to take a look around real quick. And there are our furnace. We'll grab one of those. Run over this crafting. And we will uh, make this generator. There we go. Awesome. We have power system. We should get a quest. There we go. Grab that. And what do we get for that? I don't know yet. I'm excited to see. A block of redstone. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the quests here, basically what goes on is this is the beginning of the whole um, industrial craft. And these are power storage systems, basically. 
And then this line that goes straight down is power generation all the way around to nuclear type stuff. So really, if you jump over here, this is the first machine and this is the macerator. This is what we're going to try to do next, okay? So what we need is another basic machine casing, cobblestone and flint. We got all of that. We got to make an electric circuit or a basic control circuit, okay? What's this take? We don't have that. That's, that's mechanism, so we don't have that yet. So we're going to have to make this thing right here. Basically, it's an iron plate and redstone. We got that, and we got to make some insulated copper, which means that we're going to have to get some more rubber. So I'm going to gather the rubber up together and uh, make the copper stuff, and we're going to have the macerator in just a second. Should have enough to make that. And there that is. And then what we need to make here, we just need some flint. Oh, look, there's some flint right here. We'll just borrow some of that. That's pretty nice. And there we have the macerator. Now, this thing is great. And I'm going to show you this in just a second once I get stuff kind of like set up. I think there's a room down here that Jude is building. He's kind of busy working on some stuff. I'm not sure where he wants me to build things. So I'm just going to put stuff over here for now. Hope he doesn't break it. Um, I'm going to put the generator here and I'm going to put that right there. Okay. So what this is, is a... A machine that will double up ores. Now, hopefully, I should say, it grinds ores down to uh, give you two uh, dust of the same ore. So when you put them in a furnace, you get double. Okay, I don't know if we have any that we could actually use, though, at the moment. We may have to go get some, but let's get some of the coal here. Okay, and let's make sure everything is working as far as the generator. Okay, so it's generating. Now, it's probably supplying power into here. Not okay, so we're gonna have to make some sort of cable probably to go into this, unless there's some sort of configuration which uh, I do not know about. Yeah, anyway, okay, and I did see I remember seeing some iron over here, so I'm gonna vein mine this iron. That's good to have, and we'll try to see what we can do with this in just a second. Let me find a cable that works with this. I made up some insulated gold cable, this has 512 EU per tick, so I'm thinking that I can put this out the back here and over to here. And this would then get power, okay? Which hopefully, I don't know if it's doing it through here. It might have been doing it, but I'll put a line here. And that way I can also run a line for other devices. See, there you go. So now I have 10 iron here, okay? Now if I put this in here, you can hear it starting to run. Now it's a little slow. It's also kind of noisy. But for one of these, it should give us two of the uh, iron dust, okay? I guess he's putting down some flooring. <laughs> That's fun, Jude. Anyway, there's two crushed iron. And this, does this make up an iron per thing? So let's go into here. And does it give us two? It does. It gives us two ingots. So that's the way we can double our ores is by first using the macerator. That is very cool. Let's get that quest reward here. Claim it. Do it. There and see what we get. We got a smart output. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what that's for. Tinker I.O. We'll have to look at that a little bit later. Let me put that away up here. And there we go. Okay, let's see what we can do going on. Okay, so we did the, the macerator. And basically, it looks like to get the advanced machine casing, which is probably some of the good stuff we want. Uh, we have to do the blast furnace, which is kind of cool for making um, uh, steel and other things, too. We also have an extractor. What else is down here? Compressor, electric furnace, metal former, fluid canning machine, block cutting machine, or washing plant. Hmm. Advanced alloy is probably important to get also because I think it takes all of that, right? So we're going to have to definitely go down this line here. So let's see if we can do the extractor. So the extractor is one of those basic machine casings. Four taps, which we know we can do really easy, easily. And this, which again takes six more of the copper and some more rubber. So I'm going to get some more rubber and uh, work on getting the copper too. It looks like it's dark outside, uh, so we better sleep for Jude. We don't want him to get hit by any monsters. Let's make this uh, extractor here. I think that's what it's called. Yes, the extractor. We need all of that, and we have that on us. So let's put that in here. We have the four taps that I have not used. That's just wood. It was very easy to make. And then we have the basic machine casing, and there we have an extractor. Um, I don't know what the extractor does. I mean, obviously, it must extract. But how does it extract or whatever? I don't know. Ooh, look, it's getting nice. You're making framing and stuff. Let's put this down over here. I'm going to put a little gap here because I don't know if somebody wants something else to go over here. So what does it extract? Compatible upgrades? I don't know. Is it some sort of... I have no idea what goes in here. Let's just throw something in here. Oh, we're going to get recipes. And it gets rubber from rubber wood. That works really well for me. 
Because I've got a lot of this hardwood that I've harvested from those trees. So we can get that pretty easily. So let me put some of that in there. And that will help out a lot. There we go. Awesome. Okay. It's noisy in that basement. We're going to go and get our loot chest here. See what we get. We got a shard of Laputa. Shard powered X or 10 from Batania. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm not very good with Batania. So there we go. Okay. We did that. You can see we did that quest. Remember, we're trying to go down and around so we can get towards the advanced machine casing. So let's try to do the compressor. Okay. The compressor lets you craft com various compressed items, most notably dense plates, which is pretty cool. So it looks like we need another one of these circuits. We need to have a basic machine casing and some regular old uh, diorite or granite, which we have lots of. So really, it's just getting the circuit again. And that's, again, getting the copper and the plyron plate and the redstone. I can do that pretty quick. Let's make one of those circuits really quick. And there we have that. Now all we need to do is we need to get some, some of the ore. Not really ore. The rock. The stone. Right here. Let's go to the stone here. Let's get some granite. Okay. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to make a compressor. Right there. And that should be it. And there it is. Excellent. And we are going to get the loot chest for that. And let's look at that right now. See what we got. A basic energy relay crystal from Draconic Revolution. Very nice. Or is it evolution or is it... <laughs> it's evolution, not revolution. That's funny. Uh, I'm going to put this right here for now. Okay, the compressor is getting power. Now, I think that with this compressor, I, and I don't know if this is true. We're going to try this out with a piece of iron. If I put a piece of iron in here, will it make a plate out of it? I don't, doesn't look like it. Uh, but if we take plates, we get dense plates. That's pretty cool. Okay. So we got some neat stuff going on here. This is all done. Now, we could make a power device, but this furnace is just so darn fast. It's so much easier to use. Anyway, go moving on. The next quest I want to work on is this advanced alloy. To get this, you have to put this mixed metal ingot into an advanced or into the compressor to get advanced alloy. And this is three iron, three bronze, and three tin plates. So we need to get some tin. I know we have the uh, iron ones already. So three tin. And do we have bronze in here? We might have bronze in the machine. Oh, there's some bronze up here. Okay, so let's grab that. And let's go see what's in here already. Okay, we have three ingots of bronze. So we're going to speed this up with my little old bottle here. Uh, let's see here. Okay. And we're going to put the tin in there. Let that go pretty quick. And we're going to make this uh, quickly here. Now, I don't have an output for it, but this will work. That's two. Three. Make sure we got the bronze selected. There we go. Going pretty quick. A lot quicker than it would normally. There it is. Okay, so we got all of that. We're going to run over here. We're going to uh, get the iron plates. That's what I need to do. Okay, and so it was three iron, three copper, three tin. Gives us that. And then we're going to run over here really quick. Go down into here. And we're going into the compressor, which I can get that out real quick. And we'll put that in there. Oh, that's not the compressor. That's the extractor. Into the compressor. And it, it's not, not too bad. Uh, but let's make it faster. That's a lot faster. Okay. And there we have the advanced alloy. Very, very nice. Now, let's go get the quest reward. Another loot chest. What did we get this time? The garlic chicken. That sounds kind of good right now. I'm kind of hungry. Okay, we're going to see what's left here. We're going to try to do the blast furnace. Now, interestingly, it tells you that you need to get these fluid cells and that it says the cells are hidden in JEI as they make up a lot of pages and they uh, tend to cause lag. So it's with four tin casings around a glass pane in a plus shape. So we got to get some tin uh, casings, right? And I can't remember the tin casings, what they look like. Tin casing is just this, okay? And that's just with the hammer, right? So I got the hammer on me. We're going to need to make some more uh, tin plates then, it looks like. So let's just take, um, let's do like maybe eight plates. That won't take long. Tin goes fairly quickly, and we'll have some plates to work with if we need to cut them up and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that right now. And uh, the plate things right there, we're good. And then after this, uh, we'll keep on moving with making the blast furnace. So if I read that right, there's the glass pane, tin casings, and a plus sign. And we got a universal fluid cell. That's good. 
Uh, we're looking on now this part here. We got to get six of the iron casings, and that's just iron plates, which we have downstairs that we're going to use the hammer on. So let's go get that really quick. Just around the corner here. Really would take three of these plates. Let's grab those. Put it up here. Oh, not that. Here. I did it again. I missed clicking. And there we go. Got the six of those, right? And what else does it have here? The iron, that thing we have. And over here, it's basically three of the copper plates and rubber. And we have a lot of rubber on me, I believe. Yes, we do. So we just got to make some copper plates. And that would be three pieces of copper. So we're getting there. That makes the heat conductor. We have that now. So now we should be able to make this next piece over here. And I keep forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> the blast furnace. So if we go back out here to the blast furnace, we should be able to make that at least. Okay, there we go. We're missing one more iron casing. Uh, that's not that hard to do. Just go over here and we'll use the hammer. I thought I had all of these, but I didn't. There we go. Okay, and we'll make the blast furnace. There it is. Bang. Okay, so that's done. And next we need to do the electric heater, and it's basically some more of the casings, another one of those, another one of those, and a battery. This is all stuff that I've got and I can do really quick. Okay, and with all that, we have the electric heater. And that should get us that quest. There it is. We're going to clean that really quick and see what's in it. And then we're going to go place this down, and we'll hopefully have a blast furnace. We get a, an infusion crystal for mystical agriculture. That's kind of useful. Okay, so now we're going to go down here, and we're going to put this machine. Now, I believe... This machine kind of sticks out a little bit. The heater actually goes into the blast furnace. So I think this thing gets heat, okay? And then I think the blast furnace here, it doesn't get the heat. It has to face a certain direction. Uh-oh. Don't ever pick that up. Don't ever pick that up without having a wrench. Let's go make the wrench. Um, I learned the hard way about this late, earlier on. I need another piece of bronze. Is there any bronze in here? I think there might be a bronze in here. No, we got to make some bronze. That's what, copper and tin, isn't it? I believe. Uh, let's double check that. I think it is. Let's go look. Bronze. It's copper and tin. Okay, so let's throw this in there. Let it mix up. We'll get some bronze. Okay, and they're going, eh, not that fast. So let's grab this out of here. Put it over here. And let's grab the ingot cast. There it is. Okay, and we have some bronze. Okay. And I want this to go faster, too. Oops. There we go. See that? Okay. That should be enough with the other bronze that we have over here to get the wrench. Where'd the bronze? Oh, I got nine right there. Okay, yes. So the wrench was this. Right? Okay. Now... With that, we should be able to pick this thing up, right? So if I hit this. Okay. Now we still have it. It didn't break. And if I go from up here, I think. I don't know if that's working or not. Anyway, what you work with normally is in the compressor. Oh, is he here doing something? He is. He's making something. We put the cell in there to make the compressor. I don't think this is set up right. I really don't. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to put this so that it gets the heat. He's making leadstone flux cables. Nice. Okay. So, uh, where'd it go? Hey, excuse me. He has some sort of magnet or something on. So it always puts that towards me. See, I think that it has to connect up to the other machine. So let's hit this with here. You need to turn that thing off. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in the wall here. Let's see if I place it right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to him for a minute. I think I have this hooked up now correctly. I can't use this machine. He's always using the machine to make place. Jude, you're really not helping. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's speeding it up though. Let's let's uh let's help him rock it out, right? Come on. There. Okay, so now 
We put that into, what is it, in here somewhere? And it's got the air. We should have heat coming in. So to make, this says, to supply it with compressed air, you need to craft this. When supply with heat and compressed air turns iron into steel. Okay, so let's go get some iron and see if it turns it into steel. Uh, where's my iron? We have a little bit of iron there. I gotta see this. I think it'll be kind of cool. If I have it hooked up right. See, I don't see the heat coming into it at all. I see we have the fluid. I see we have the iron ink ingots in there. And if we look at the steel, let's go look at steel real quick. Because we need to look at like a steel. Let's look at a single steel ingot here. Uh, where is a good steel? And we're trying to use none of those devices, right? The blast furnace. See, it takes heat and iron and it'll make steel. So we're not getting heat into the system. And I got to figure out why. Everything looks correct to me. We're just not getting the heat. And this thing's plenty of power. Currently transmitted heat. So I got to figure out why it's not transmitting heat. It's got the power, but not the heat. So let me just keep playing around with this. I think I need a heating coil. I think that's what I was kind of missing through this whole process. That even though the machine is built, it has to have coils inserted. That's why you kind of upgrade this machine. So we're going to go back in here. And I think you've put, it says add coils to increase it. So maybe that's what we have to do is one of them. And we can, zero is right now and 10 U is what we can do. Now, if we do this, we want to have that. I think it's going to heat up. We still need to compress the gas because we don't have any of that yet. So let's put that over here. And there we go. Making that, and we'll put that into the, uh, the blast furnace and hopefully we can get some steel. Uh, hopefully it looks like it's heating, but it's very slow. Now, again, we could, I only have a minute left. I've been using this quite frequently, actually. Um, so there it has the air. Let's, uh, let's see if we can speed this up at all. Okay. Let's see if I can, that's as much as I have that I can do, but now it is heating up. Uh, yeah, it's not very, very quick. We'll just wait for it and see what happens. I added a couple more of these coils, brought up to 30 uh, HU or HU max, 30 of it. And that's working a little bit better. We're very close now. The heat's almost maxed up. That looks good. So now, uh, yes, there it is. It's running. It is very, very slow. Let's see if I can use my time in a bottle. That's about as best I could do with it. Um, but it's running, and we should see steel in just a second. And there we have the first piece of steel from our industrial uh, craft blast furnace. Got a steel ingot and some slag. This took way too long. There's other ways to get steel that right now that is faster. But this could be a better way later on because we use the power systems that we have. The last quest we're going to work on today is the advanced machine casing. And it has steel plates. We have the industrial or the blast furnaces outside. It's been making steel for quite a while. So I made four of those plates already. We already have the two advanced alloy plates, uh, these things here, already on us. We have the basic machine cases. So we got to get these carbon plates, two of these. And if you look how they are, they are basically pulverized coal turned into this thing here. And we can do that right now. So I've got some pulverized coal here. And it looks like we can just go like this. We get that. And then we need to combine those, right? Like that. And compress that down. And we can use our good old compressor here. Let's kick it with the uh, time in a bottle. Go as fast as we can. It's going pretty quick here. And then once it gets done, we should have enough to get the advanced uh casings okay now i don't think we have a crafting table downstairs yet uh so ooh, metallurgic infuser very nice but uh, we have one up here right so let's go with the advanced machine casing this right here and bang there it is okay now let's get that loot quest uh loot chest and do that right now and it's a basic wireless energy crystal from draconic revolution evolution so, we've done a lot today with uh, industrial craft, and that's excellent. I'm really enjoying it. Now, let's see if he's done anything else on his quest lines. We do have a gate done, which is pipes. Okay, so what are we going to get? A controllers? I like the getting the pipes. I think this will be good. Those are good for other things, too. So, we'll get that. And he was doing mechanism, right? So, did he get anything for mechanism? No. So he made this, even though he didn't have... Oh, wait. This is one of these I need to check. I do need to check it. Oh, look. There it is. Okay. So we'll claim that reward. 
And we'll hit claim all. This will give me all the rewards here. And there we go. We should have. Did I? Did he pick up my loot chest? He did not. Okay. I got to put some of this stuff away. But he got a lot of quests there too. That is awesome. Let's put those things away. Those are quest rewards. Configurator was good. Uh, that was good. And he has begun the mechanism quest line. Let's get this quest here. We got a piston. Okay. We'll take that. We'll put it up there. So, uh, yay. We're having a lot of fun. Look, he's opened his quest. He's probably, like, on his video. Like, and now we're going to get this. All right. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got time for today. So, I uh, hope you like this video. We're going to continue on with Industrial Craft when I uh, get back on, okay? So, I uh, hope you uh, keep coming out and enjoying the show. Uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them out in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of those videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Everybody, subscriptions are very important. Please subscribe. Thanks. <laughs> have a great day. Goodbye.